what really is the difference between what happens with IVF and what happens with just natural conception. The first is actually making sure an egg and sperm are combining. Um, and so with either natural conception or even with taking pills like Clomid with an insemination, we are not knowing if the eggs and sperm are actually ever coming together. Even if an egg and sperm is in the right place at the right time, they might not ever be combining. Um, and so the first way that IVF is really overcoming issues like this is in our laboratory, where we're literally gonna pick the best, fastest moving sperm and literally inject it into the egg to increase the chance of fertilization, meaning that the eggs and sperm t come together to become an embryo. But most importantly, before we actually put the embryo back into your body through the embryo transfer, we're gonna do testing on this embryo. And so that testing, it's called PGT, which is pre-implantation genetic testing. And that's where we're gonna take a few cells from the outside part of the embryo. We're not gonna to touch what's called the inner cell mass, which is the ball of cells that's gonna become the baby's body. Um, by just taking cells from the placenta, we're able to detect many, many types of chromosome abnormalities. That being said, it is from the placenta, so we cannot say it's 100% accurate, but it's very close to being so. Um, and by doing that testing, we're then able to go through your embryos and say, these ones are abnormal. We don't want to use these. They probably won't lead to pregnancy, or even worse, if they were to be used, you probably would have a miscarriage or a later term miscarriage. We're gonna then be left with the normal ones. And so the fantastic news there is that any of those normal chromosome embryos has an extremely high chance of success when we do the embryo transfer. And then also very importantly, your chance of a miscarriage is gonna be over 50% less than if you got pregnant naturally or through an IUI, because we know that the embryo itself is normal chromosomes. And that is the leading reason for people having miscarriages, especially as we get older. That's why often we might say going straight to in vitro fertilization is really the recommendation.